Hi, my name is Dr. Terry Chang, and I am a social worker and a clinical researcher at the Princess Margaret Cancer Center. In this video, I will be talking about a project titled Usability Testing of a Culturally Tailored Online Self-Help Program for Chinese Women Living with Breast Cancer. I will summarize the challenges that inhibit Chinese women from seeking support and what we did to address this. Breast cancer incidence in Chinese women is rising in North America. Chinese women experience high levels of emotional distress and unmet emotional psychological support needs. Often, they are unaware of or are reluctant to seek social support from their family or to discuss concerns with their healthcare providers. Now, this may be attributed to the Chinese cultural emphasis on self-reliance and saving face, and that coping with cancer is largely a private family affair. Also, a language barrier can prevent them from participating in English-speaking support groups. As such, few Chinese women access mainstream psychological services because they do not match their cultural and linguistic needs. To address their support needs, we used an existing e-counseling platform to create an online culturally tailored self-help program. The goal of our project is to conduct a usability testing of the self-help program. Now, usability testing is a common approach to assess how easily and effectively users can interact with a newly developed program. The usability testing question asks, is the program and layout easy to use? Is the content delivered culturally sensitive and linguistically appropriate? Are the participants satisfied with the content and the functionality of the program? Recognizing that we live in a world of more oriented to viewing than to reading, we translated findings from a qualitative study on breast cancer survivorship in Chinese women into two five-minute videos. Delivered in Mandarin, um, the three key messages are, you do not have to deal with the disease alone, there are things you can do to help yourself, and it is possible to return to our normal life. We hope that by watching these videos, Chinese women will learn that they are not alone with this disease, and gain insights on how to help themselves to return to normal life. Additional educational materials and interactive features are used to reinforce these self-care messages. We also include three short video clips of prominent Chinese public figures endorsing the self-help program. Currently, we are conducting the first cycle of testing, and so far the preliminary feedback includes the online self-help program recognizes that support seeking varies among Chinese women, it offers an alternate private support approach that is congruent with their cultural values and language needs. I would like to acknowledge the members of the project team. And I would like to thank our community partners for collaborating on this project and Women's College Hospitals Women's Exchange for funding this project. And to our special consultants for reviewing the educational materials. Thank you.